The gamma pod is a new form of radiation therapy that's used to help treat early stage breast cancer patients. So for early stage breast cancer patients, about 60% of them um, will end up needing radiation therapy. Some of that depends on the type of surgery that they have, but certainly for women who have a lumpectomy, which means removing the tumor plus a rim of tissue around that, adding in radiation therapy helps prevent the cancer from coming back. Inside the unit here, there's actually 25 different sources of radiation that rotate, and what that means is that when we're delivering the radiation, there's essentially an infinite number of beam paths through which the radiation can be delivered. So from any given beam path, that's a negligible amount of radiation, but it all converges onto the target. So we get a very high dose of radiation to the target with essentially no dose around that area. Traditionally, women would have to receive radiation therapy in a daily fashion for up to five to six weeks. Over the last several decades, that shortened down to three to four weeks. And now with the gamma pod, we have the advantage of being able to complete the treatment in just potentially five treatments for women. In addition to that, the gamma pod delivers the radiation in a very focused way, which can lead to decreased side effects for women, both in the short term as well as potentially in the long term as well. We will be able to get the patient through treatment very quickly and have a better uh, quality of life. And going forward, we believe that for a lot of, uh, this, for a lot of breast cancer patients, uh, probably surgery is, can be omitted. So there's two ways that the gamma pod's able to deliver radiation in a very focused way. One is by actually using an immobilization device or a mold that helps keep the breast still. As a result of having that immobilization device, we can be more precise with the radiation targeting because we know that the breast isn't going to be moving with breathing patterns or if a patient fidgets on the table, for example. So being in the prone position is also an advantage for the gamma pod treatment. So in general, when women lay in the prone position, the breast falls away from the chest wall, the heart, and the lung. And so the gamma pod takes advantage of that fact in delivering the treatment in that way. This evolution that's pioneered by the gamma pod will clearly eventually lead to, through clinical trials work, the elimination of the scalpel in the treatment of early stage breast cancer. So imagine now, you have a biopsy, you have an early stage breast cancer, you come in from anywhere from one to five treatment sessions that are typically less than 30 minutes outpatient, and you're cured of your early stage breast cancer. This is the roadmap we've now created by bringing in this paradigm changing technology known as the gamma pod. Innovation is a non-stop process and we will not end here. On this device, we will continue to improve. Actually, we have already a, a longer list of items that we could do better. And we are gonna to continue to make this better. We will now lead uh, and both a national and international consortium of early adopters of this technology and develop the clinical trials that will define and get us to that day where the treatment of early stage breast cancer will be a few uh, treatments of gamma pod and you're cured and done.